Jack Simpson of Simpson Performance, and we're going to explain how four turbochargers on a six-cylinder engine works. Okay, the bottom turbocharger is bolted right to the manifold, the exhaust manifold, and it's the smaller one of the three. And the exhaust comes out of the engine and turns the turbine at about the same pressure as the intake, about 200 pounds. That air goes to the center turbocharger, exhaust air, and it turns the turbine by the pressure drop to about 100 pounds. The air exhaust it then comes out of there and goes to the top two and turns those turbochargers at about 30 pounds. Then the air on the intake side comes in on the top with the two turbos, wise into the intake to the center, and that air then goes to the bottom turbocharger and from there into the intake of the engine. The two, the two airs really cross on the way in because of the pressure drop on each stage. And then, of course, the air expands when the pressure drops, and that's what makes it capable of turning these two big boys on top. This is a cartridge out of a turbocharger, and uh, the exhaust wheel is driven by the heated air of the, in, of the exhaust, which in turn turns on a common shaft, turns the compressor wheel to make more air pressure. And uh, it's a pretty simple thing, a small sh shaft in there that um, converts the heat to a lot of horsepower.